going to learn today is how to create a software application box just like the one that you're seeing here. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a new image and we'll just have it 800 by 800 and background transparent and then just hit OK. Then what we want to do next is um, select our rectangular tool, make sure the field pixels option selected and then we're just going to draw a rectangle just like that. Now we'll just move that up a bit. And then what we want to do is create a, just get a small selection of that rectangle, just like copy and paste. So it puts it on a new layer. And then we're just going to move that in line with that just over there. What we want to do next is we want to just make a rectangular selection here and then a negative selection by holding the ALT key and then fill in, fill in that selection with black or gray whatever color you feel like filling it with and so we've got to select the second layer to fill the second layer there so what we want to do next is we want to fill this section with um, a gradient color so what we'll do first is use select the magic wand tool and select that square of the layer one and then select layer two hold shift and then select that square and then get the rectangular marquee tool hold alt and just remove a section of that selection and then we want to fill that with our gradient tool and you can use like any color we'll use a orange here and then just from the bottom to the top and fills that just like that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is create a new layer and just call it whatever you like. Um, then we want to select the elliptical marquee tool and just draw an ellipsis coming from there. And then we just want to use our gradient bucket again and this time fill it from the top to the bottom just to give you that effect there. Change the blending mode to soft light. Then we just want to use the rectangular marquee tool to just erase that little section out of the center and deselect. Now what we want to do is add in a person. So you need to find a picture of a person and just select them. So I've got this one here. I'm going to select this person, cut them click here. So you can cut them by compressing Control X or we'll go into edit and then cut. And then now we want to paste them so we just go edit and paste. Now obviously that's a bit too small and it's on the wrong direction so I'm just going to go into edit, transform, uh, rotate and then we'll just get her a bit more upright. And then we'll go edit, transform and scale. Now want it to be a decent size so we'll just select that there and then hit the tick and then put her in your desired position and trim the bottom off just like so what we want to do next is deselect and then select the layer with the person and select duplicate layer Call it whatever you like, and then we want to go filter, blur, motion blur, angle zero degrees, distance. Um, you can play around with the distance. So I'm going to select 33. Okay, and then we're just going to move that to the right there. Then we want to change the blending mode to overlay and what we want to do next is select the original picture layer and then select our eraser tool and have a large brush and just change the capacity to a low so 9% and then what we want to do is just erase the edges 
here just so they blend in with the other picture just like that. Now we want to add some text and just have white as the foreground. And you just want to draw a text box and have the justification as right. I've added some text there. Now what you want to do next is add in a seal. To do that you want to create a new layer and you just call it seal. And then you want to select your shape custom shape tool and then you want to click the shape up here and select a flower one shape and just choose a field color so I'm just going to select this color here and just draw a shape now just want to add some text uh, into the shape so just like that and then position that over there. Now what we want to do next is we, is we want to duplicate the the layer, the copy of the person. So I'm just going to duplicate layer, hit OK. And then we want to select the blending mode to color dodge and then the opacity to say 40, 49 ish. And then we're just going to move that over to the smaller part of the thing box and then just trim the excess off just like that. And what you want to do is um, add some text to that side so we'll just draw another text box here this time probably want to center the text and I'll just add some quickly. Okay so it's the text added there. Now what we want to do is save, make sure you s oh, we'll save the um, file as docs1 or whatever you want to call it and then save it again as another one because this is the part where you got to transform it and we've got to flatten the image so you want to be able to make changes and then flatten it so that's why we save it as a copy so now we want to go into edit or well, actually we want to flatten the image so if we go layer and then merge visible and then what we want to do is select with the magic wand and select inverse and then hit the square, hold Alt, deselect that square, and then cut the side part and paste it just so it puts it on a separate layer. And now we want to select the bigger box and then go into Edit, Transform, then Distort. And we just want to move this on an angle inwards and then this one on an angle inwards just to give that sense of depth. Then keep this line straight. And then we do the same. Well, we give that a tick. And then we do the same with layer 1. Edit, transform, distort. Now. Just gonna make this a bit smaller. Give that illusion of depth. And then you just gotta oh, then you just gotta press apply. Then just move that in close to there. You might have to zoom in just to get that overlapping. And then you're done. So you can just play around with that to sort of make it look a bit more natural. Just like so. Let's give that more of a box type effect. 
Okay, so hope that's helped you. Uh, look out for more free tutorials on our website at lovetohelp.com. That's L-E-V number two, H-E-L-P.com. Thank you. Goodbye. Good luck.